Hey everybody, I uh, was ready to uh, leave my office today and I just begin to think about something that might bless your life and might help you. Uh, you know, uh, the lights are down low here in our building uh, and nobody's really here right now, but I just want to uh, throw some things at you that might, again, bless your life. Jesus was a carpenter, right? Jesus was a carpenter. So, in fact, he was basically a, a, a contractor, right? He would come and build things and probably repair things. Let me show you some things here on our wall where we got some water damage here in the building. Okay, you see that? Uh, that, that is uh, from water damage uh, from where we had some uh, leaking uh, with our roof here. Let me show you another spot uh, right now until we get this stuff painted. Uh, kind of tried to hide it behind a tree a little bit, but uh, you see that? That's from water damage. And we've come in and we had to have contractors come in and basically just repair that. Now we've got to sand that, repaint that, and make that look better than what it looks right now. So we're getting ready to work on that. But my thing was that Jesus was a carpenter. Okay, He's basically a contractor. And, and, and basically, if we could actually say with every one of our lives, this stuff right here, okay, you see that? You see that stuff right there? Some damage has been done to our life. Some damage has been done to your life. In one way or another, you received some damage through some type of a storm. See, we got, we got damage on our walls over there because of the rainstorms that come in. And it's just like our lives. We have storms that we walk through. And, and the storms of life can just beat you down. But I want to tell you, let Jesus be your carpenter. Okay? Let him be your contractor. Let him love you. Let him repair you. He will set you straight. So, look, we've all got damage. We're all damaged goods. Okay, in one way or the other, we all got issues, but I'm telling you, if God can do this in me, man, it's so cool, he can do it in you. Let him be the carpenter, let him be the contractor, let him love you and let him fix you. He's the only one that can. All right, so I hope that blesses your day. Have a great one. Bye-bye.